What's going on family? It's your man Jerry. The title of this video is how to type your DNA code. Now I know what you're thinking. Man, it'd be impossible to type that. And it almost is. If you can type 60 words a minute, 8 hours a day, it would take you 50 years to type your entire DNA code. The problem is people stop typing at age 18, age 25, age 30, and 40. So why do we stop typing after high school, college, after having kids or getting married, after that failed attempt at one of our dreams and goals? The fact is, if you stop redefining yourself on a daily basis, you may never find out just what your potential in life truly is. You see, you're so much more than 16 years worth of schooling. You're so much more than that terrible relationship that you were in. You're so much more than a model employee, you know, and, and you're so much more than any failure that you've ever gone through. You're so much more on the other side of that. You just got to keep typing. So when we start talking about redefining who you are and actually typing in and figuring out your DNA, you got to understand there's three parts to that. That's your past, your present and your future. Now, who you are right now is really just a culmination of everything that you've done in your past mixed with who you are and where you're going in your future. So you're always becoming someone. You can't be defined by just your past. A lot of people get caught up on that and they just stop typing, they stop recreating themselves. When we start talking about your actual DNA, the blueprint for who you are, there's four different nucleic acids, that's adenine, that's thymine, that's cytosine, and that's guanine, right? Let's just break that down. Let's just say it's the A, the T, the C, and the G. Now the A, the blueprint for who you are, we're going to re recreate this. The A is now the average, okay? The average of the five friends you used to hang out with, the five friends you hang out with now, and the five friends you will be hanging out with in the future. That's who you are. Now we're going to talk about the T. The T is going to become the. Who are you? Who do you want to be? The class clown, the counselor, the go-getter, the motivator. Or when we talk about professions, the DJ, the engineer, the architect, the stylist, the actor, the director, right? The defines who we are. Now let's talk about the C. The C is going to stand for character. That's personality traits. Are you wise, caring, patient, you know, diligent, loyal, faithful, or are you foolish, ignorant, um, impatient? greedy who are you what's your character all right and the last one we're going to talk about the g we want to change that to go the go is all about action okay you can't just be lip service who you are is what you do because we all know that actions speak louder than your words so you can say that you're a go-getter but what are you going to get what are you getting what are you doing you know, Eric Thomas would say, we got to stop being I's and we got to start moving to A's. Okay, I's are ideas. A's are the action. Everybody has an idea, but you're not known for your ideas. You're known for your actions and what you do. So when we break it down, that's A, T, C, and G. That's average the character go. Okay, so if you think about that, it really even makes sense when you say it in order. So you have to keep learning, keep evolving, and most of all, keep typing. I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. If you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe if it's on YouTube. And remember, there are never limits to what you can achieve when you have a vision. And a vision, that's what you see with your eyes closed and mind open. You'll find me at jerrygoins.com. Thanks for checking out the video. Peace.